Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know, I have been teaching and publishing a lot of test automation concepts by using traditional tools like uh, Selenium, Playwright, Cypress. And also, I have published a lot of videos on no code, low code tools like Prisentis, Catalan Studio, Eggplant, etc. So now, as the world moving towards artificial intelligence, LLMs, agents, and so on, I've started exploring what kind of AI tools that are available in the market so that I can start automating the test cases by using artificial intelligence. I found two great tools in the market. One is Test Rigger, the other one is Playwright MCP. So I have already started publishing YouTube videos on Test Rigger. So I'll be leaving the link for the playlist in the description. And in this particular video series, I'm going to start publishing the series of YouTube videos covering the concepts of AI-based test automation tool called Playwright MCP. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. So welcome to AI driven testing by using Playwright MCP server. So this is our lesson one where I'm going to teach you what is the role of LLM agents MCP in Playwright test automation. In other words, what is the role of large language models, agents and model context protocols in playwright test automation. I'm going to make you understand what is large language model, what is an agent and what is model context protocol and what are the roles of each component in playwright test automation. I'm going to explain all these concepts in detail step by step. So before we talk about role of LLM agent and MCP in playwright test automation, let us first understand what is LLM, what is agent and what is MCP. What I'm going to do in this particular session, I'm going to explain these concepts in detail in a very common language with a real world examples so that you can understand these concepts and you can remember forever. Okay, let us move forward. So now the first one is LLM. LLM nothing but large language model. So the name itself says it's large language model, which means this model is being trained by the enormous set of data. So think of an LLM like ChatGPT or Claude. So everyone knows ChatGPT, everyone knows Claude also, right? Everyone is using ChatGPT and Claude. Okay, so this LLM is a smart brain. It is a very smart brain or it works as a script writer that understands the natural language. So it can read the requirements or user stories, right? And then what it does? It generates the code or it generates the test steps in plain English language. However, this LLM can think on its own, but it cannot act. So this LLM cannot act. It can think on its own. It generates the idea. It generates the code, but it cannot click buttons or it cannot run a browser in your system. So that's the limitation. You can see here, think LLM as a smart brain. It reads, understands the user stories. It reads the requirements. What it does? It writes the code or it generates the steps in plain English language. But here is the catch. As I said, it cannot perform any action like clicking the button, running the browser, right? It's the brain. It works brilliantly, but there is no body. Now, let us understand what do you mean by agent? So an agent is like an autonomous assistant that uses an LLM as its brain. That means 
the output from the LLM is being used by agent as its brain. In practice, an AI agent makes decisions and carries out tasks using the LLM's output. So for example, you can imagine an agent as a DevOps engineer in cloud operations center. Let's say you received a system alert. Okay. You received a system alert in DevOps. So then what happens? This AI agent reads the system alert. Let's say the system alert is CPU usage on node 3 exceeded threshold. So now what happens? So this AI agent comes into picture. It's not going to just read the alert. What it does, it reads the alert powered by the LLM output and then this agent starts thinking, planning and executing. How? Let's say it can start retrieving the logs, system logs or it can interact or it can call any APIs that are required or it can scale up the resources because your CPU usage high what it does it can use the APIs and it can scale up the resource or it can also restart the services. So this AI agent is performing the actions without human intervention. So this AI agent reads the system alert with the help of LLM large language model output and it starts thinking, planning and executing. So like reading the logs, scaling up the resources or restarting the services. So now your system alert has been taken care. So it's like having an autonomous assistant that not only speaks technology but it acts on it, detecting the issues like memory leaks or fixing deployment failures in real time. So while LLM large language model generates the what, whereas the AI agent handles the how. So these together becomes intelligence actionable. LLM gives you what? AI agent handles the how. So next, what do you mean by MCP? MCP nothing but model context protocol. So MCP is the bridge or translator between the LLM agent brain and the real world tools and browsers. So it's bridge between LLM or agent and the real world tools and browsers. So you can think of MCP as a universal adapter or messenger bus. So it lets the LLM send commands in a standard JSON format to external resources like browsers, databases or APIs. So in simple term, you can think this as a translator between brain and the browser, it, the bridge between thoughts and actions. So it's like a universal adapter carrying the commands from your LLM in a language that real world understands. It creates a structured JSON format which can act on the browsers, databases or APIs. Whether it's filling a form or navigating to a URL or querying a database. So this MCP handles doing all these actions. So while LLM thinks, MCP executes. So this MCP can interact with your browser. It can perform actions like click operations, filling the forms, navigating through the pages, etc. So that means LLM can dream it, but MCP makes it real. So now we understand what is LLM, what is agent and then what is MCP. 
So now let us stitch together and see in terms of playwright MCP. So if you see on the screen, LLM is a large language model which can understand the requirements, user stories, and it generates the text and it can also do the reasoning. And agent takes the tasks, it can call the tools and it can use the memory. So here it can use the tool like playwright orchestration and MCP model context protocol sends command to automate the browser related test cases. So it can run tests on your browser. It can send commands like click, enter, right, navigate kind of commands and by using those commands it can interact with the browser. So that is why Playwright has introduced a very strong uh, tool like MCP server. So this MCP server can automate your test cases by using artificial intelligence. So let me recap quickly. What do you mean by LLM? LLM provides intent and intelligence. It reads the requirements and figures out what steps to take. Then the agent organizes those tasks and uses the LLM's guidance to plan actions. And MCP then carries out those actions in a browser. So the LLM is a director or navigator. The agent is the performer or driver. And the MCP is a communication protocol making sure instructions become action. For example, if LLM says log into the site, then MCP turns that into browser commands like open the login page or navigate to the login page, enter username, enter password, click button. So, so MCP generates all these commands and also MCP does a structured communication. What do you mean by that? MCP relies on browser's accessibility tree. What do you mean by that? She is nothing but a map of UI elements. So this uses the map of UI elements rather than a raw screenshots. So the LLM can precisely identify the buttons and fields on your web page. So this makes instructions reliable and fast. So if I want to restate this in one liner, MCP enables an LLM or agent to control a playwright managed browser using structured commands. That's very simple. So now you will understand playwright MCP test automation. So now let us understand why we need to use playwright for artificial intelligence test automation or for AI test automation. Let me explain you. First of all, what is Playwright? So Playwright is a modern end-to-end -end web testing framework discovered by Microsoft. So it lets testers write scripts. So you can write the scripts in JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, etc. And these scripts can run the browsers like Chromium, Firefox, WebKit in a cross-platform way. So it handles things like waiting for elements and isolating the test to avoid flakiness, right? In short, Playwright is an engine for automating a browser. So now let us understand what is this Playwright MCP server. So to convert AI, artificial intelligence to Playwright, so there is a special MCP server which is being invented by Microsoft. So this MCP server sits between the LLM or agent and the Playwright framework. So this server exposes browser actions like click, navigate, fill in the forms, etc. As the tool the LLM can call. So when the agent issues a command, the MCP server runs the equivalent 
playwright code under the hood. For example, AI Cloud says click the submit button and the playwright MCP server would execute the page dot click and the element property in the browser. If I want to explain in one liner, the playwright MCP server enables LLMs to interact with web pages. LLM can think, but it cannot act, right? So playwright MCP server enables LLMs to interact with web pages, take screenshots, generate test code, and it can execute the JavaScript in a real browser environment. So before we wrap the session, what are the key takeaways? The large language models provide intelligence, as I told you, but need a way to act. So agents uses the LLMs to plan tasks and MCP lets them execute those tasks in a real world like browsers. And Playwright MCP brings this all together by acting as an intermediary between the AI and the browser. So it lets the LLM write or adapt Playwright scripts on fly. So by using Playwright MCP server, you can write the AI enhanced tests in a plain English language and it can heal themselves when the app changes and automatically it can adjust to a different user context or the edge cases. So in summary, think of the AI as a smart collaborator. So it understands your intent in the English and with the help of MCP, it transforms it into the robust and adaptive playwright test. So this way, it avoids testers to write very complex coding so that testers can focus on creative QA strategies. Hope you all understand the concepts of LLM, agents, MCP, playwright, all these components. So it is very, very important to understand all these components so that from next session onwards, we can start automating the test cases with the help of Playwright MCP server. If you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you. Hope you all understand the concepts of large language model, agent and model context protocol. And also you understand the role of LLM, agent and MCP in Playwright test automation. In our next lesson, we're going to start using Playwright MCP so that we can utilize the AI based features in Playwright test automation and we can start automating the test cases in plain English language. It's going to be very interesting. You will see the magic of Playwright MCP in the next lesson. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.